Hey, today we're talking about the new update for Mac, Mac OS Sequoia 15.5. What's new, which bugs were fixed, how it performs in real life, and most importantly, should you update right now? I'll show you everything, explain it clearly, quick, honest, and straight to the point. The update is about 3 gigabytes. It's available to everyone already on macOS 15 and was released alongside iOS 18.5, iPadOS, watchOS, the Vision Pro update, and even iPadOS 17.7 .7 for older iPads. Apple's having an update boom. The whole ecosystem got refreshed. Feels good when your Mac isn't left out. The first new feature is screen time. Now, if a child enters their passcode to bypass limits, the parent immediately gets a notification on their iPhone or Mac. It's a small update, but a really useful one. The second change is the redesigned Apple Care section. It's been moved and now looks cleaner and more modern, similar to iOS 18.5. You can instantly see when your plan renews, what's included, and quickly access support or manage your subscription. Mail got a few upgrades too. Now each tab has a description, primary, promotions, transactions, updates. You can also turn on sender profile photos right in the inbox. Finally, small changes, but they make daily email use a lot more pleasant, especially if you rely on mail for work. This time, Apple has something for IT specialists too. For example, DHCP v6 with full domain name support now works properly. They also fixed a bug where Macs would get stuck in recovery mode after updating if File Vault was enabled and SSO was used. And no more repeated screen access alerts when screen sharing is active. Plus, remote setup through MDM has been improved a bit, which is a big deal if you're managing a fleet of Macs in a company. Next up, security. Over 30 vulnerabilities have been patched, including serious flaws in the kernel, video and audio processing, and even the system bootloader. Some of these could cause crashes, instability, or even potential data access. In cases like this, updating isn't optional, it's essential. Even if nothing looks different on the surface, things are much more secure under the hood. Now let's talk performance. On my Mac, everything runs smoothly. Apps open quickly, no lag at all. Editing in Final Cut Pro feels solid. Even during export, everything stays stable. Battery life, also solid. Optimized charging does its job, and even with a full day of active use, I lose no more than 15 to 20% of the charge. Apple Intelligence keeps taking up more space. On my Mac, it's now over 10 gigabytes. That's not a big deal if you have plenty of storage, but if you're on a 256 gigabyte model, it could be an unwelcome surprise. Keep that in mind if you're running low on free space. So, should you install 15.5? Absolutely. It's not a revolution, but it's stable, secure, and clean. It doesn't break anything. In fact, it finally fixes things that have been annoying for a while. If you're already on Sequoia, you can update with confidence. What about you? Have you updated yet? Noticed any improvements? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next update or review.